I've got a praise on the inside. Come to worship you on one accord when we gather. You will fill the room. To know God's purpose and His will for my life. I went to a camp called Well Believers United. And one day we were in worship, and a song called Intercession by William McDowell came on. And the song said, The change I want to see must first begin in me. I surrender so that your world can be changed. And in that moment, my life changed because I learned to walk in my purpose. I learned that if I surrender, if I just say yes, I can see the change that I want to see in my generation. So what I did was I said, okay, Lord, however you want to use me, just take all that I am and use me for your glory. I created a Bible study called the Overflow Youth Movement where we encourage my peers that we don't have to go to the world to look for fulfillment, to look for wholeness, but our wholeness and our satisfaction and our fulfillment is found in Jesus. He provides us with the living water and he says that it will spring up from us into wells leading to eternal life. So I wanted to encourage my peers with what I had learned, that we don't have to go to the world. I shortly after created a blog and a YouTube channel where I do Bible studies and try to encourage and uplift people. And I've seen how God has used my surrender, how he's used my yes for his glory. So I am an example to what God can do with your yes. When we say yes, when we surrender, when we say, Lord, I know I may be unqualified, but if we say, Lord, just use me how I am, he, he will blow our minds, and that's what he's done in my life. So I encourage you, don't allow the enemy to keep you standing with fear, because that's what he used with me. He tried to keep me afraid of rejection and of people not liking me and of not fitting in. But what I had to learn is that if I'm going to have influence, if I'm going to share God's word, if I'm going to be a light, I have to be willing to do anything.
for high school. <laughs> and I am the kids' worship director at the Prosper Campus. Yes. Okay, ladies. So, the first thing that I want you to share is who has been the most influential person in your lives and why? You want to start, Raven? Go ahead. Okay, yeah, I can go first. Um, I have two really big influencers in my life. The first one, of course, is my mother. My mom it has to be the biggest influence in my life. She came from nothing, and she is a business executive right now. She is, a, like, she's a woman of God. She inspires me every single day to do what I want, even if it's not the same thing that she did. She, she always tells me, keep going and read your Bible. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my mom is the first one, and then the second one is Miss Candice. She's, yes, Miss Candice, wherever she is. I love Miss Candice so much. She pulled me out of the crowd and was like, you, you are going to be serving. You matter. You're awesome. You rock. I love you. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? But it, it was really awesome how she did that, and I'm thankful for her every single day because if it wasn't for her, Picking me out, I I would not be where I am today, that is for sure. That is awesome. What about you, Bobby? <laughs> so, I also have two. First would be my grandmother. We started having Bible studies every night about three years ago, and she really kind of set me on the path to share God's word because at the end of our Bible study, she'd be like, okay, so what did you learn? And I'd be like, um... I learned some names that I don't know how to pronounce. And so, but as I kept on speaking and sharing with her, and she, you know, would redirect me and kind of put something in here. So she kind of set me on the path, which I'm so grateful for and so grateful that God put her in my life. And then second would be one of my mentors, Miss April. She's the one who started the camp that I attended last summer, and she encouraged us to step out on faith and do what God has called us to do, because around my age, she started a Bible study, so she inspired me and kind of pushed me to keep going, and even to this day, she still does that. So I believe that my purpose is to lead my peers back to, lead my peers back to Jesus through his word, and also worship. Listen, I love the Bible. Like, I, you know, sometimes you just read something and you're just like, mm. you know, so I love the Bible. And I, I post videos on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel. And I find that people respond. And even people who may not consider themselves Christian. So I believe that God's given me, like, and anointing to be able to do that and you know speak in that way and still attract people who may not know him so and also through worship I right when we joined the church I was like okay I need to get plugged in so I joined the student worship team and Miss Crystal Whitaker has led me and helped me grow in that area so I really just believe that we my generation like we we need to go back to Jesus. We, there's so many things in this world that try to distract us and get us off track, but we have to know that what we need is found in Jesus, that drugs won't do it and sex won't do it, but we have to go to Jesus because, again, he is, he gives us the living water, so. Yes, you better preach. Amen. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me tell y'all about Bobby. She, she does whole Bible studies on her Instagram, like, faithfully, like, you know, she goes to school all day, she'll go to practice, and then she'll come home, and she's like, you know what, I'm tired, but God put a word on my heart that I want to share, and she's just faithful. And, and the other thing about Bobby, um, and she, she might kill me for this, but y'all, she has an anointed voice, and so if you don't mind, I'm going to ask her just to sing a little, a little something, sing us out of our interview if you don't mind. All right, go ahead. One of my favorite songs is Reckless Love, so I guess I'll just, just go ahead and sing Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night.
this love.